Hey y'all, togs are clicking here. Look at here, I got some new togs. Look at that. Don't they pretty? Thanks, Karen. We're gonna do some uh, shit we don't need togs for today, believe it or not. Uh, I'm gonna make some au gratin potatoes. I'm gonna do them my way. They might not be your way, but they're mine. So uh, let me get started here and uh, we'll show you how to do it. Okay, uh, I got potatoes here. Sliced, peeled, drained, cleaned, washed. I got some peelings on some of them. Not all of them. I just got lazy. Peelings are good for you though, man. They add roughage. I got some ham. I'm hoping that's enough. I baked a little ham today and I got some chopped up here and we're going to throw that in there. I got some chopped up onions. I'm going to chunk a bunch of cheese in this shit. Add some cream to it. We're going to make some au gratin potatoes. I got me a butter pan here. See how I got this butter all smeared around this pan. You know, butter's good for you. It adds flavor. Let's chuck some potatoes in there. Just make a layer of potatoes in the damn pan. It, you know, you can order it, Abby. Some of these are kind of thick. Uh, these are some big ass potatoes, y'all. They were hard to slice. They hurt my hands. But we got them all sliced up here. Just make a layer of potatoes in the pan. See, look, a layer of potatoes. Put some pepper on there. Crack black. None of that damn ground up shit. A little bit of salt. Potatoes like salt. Remember though, we're using cheese. We don't need a lot of salt. Uh, let's put some butter on there. Just put some butter in there. If it'll come off my damn hand, get off of there. Put some butter in there. Three or four pieces. Sprinkle some onions in there. You don't like onions? Don't use the damn things. I don't care. That's how I do it. Handful of chopped up ham. Look at that. Don't that pretty? Throw some ham in there. Okay, we got potatoes, salt, pepper, butter. Onions, we got some ham in there. Let's throw some cheese in there. Now, I got a piece of mozzarella bag here. I'm going to throw that in there. I'm only using this because I got a piece of a bag and I don't want to get rid of it. I'm just going to dump it in here. Nothing on this week's menu calls for mozzarella, so I'm going to use it tonight. Now, get some sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar is the best. Just put some sharp cheddar in there. Just cover it up. Put a layer of cheese in there. Layer of cheese. Now, just keep doing it. Just make layers. That's all we're doing. next? Uh, hell, it don't matter what direction you go. Crack black, Jack. Crack black. Y'all use still that using that damn ground up fine shit in a can. Y'all just ain't thinking. Throw that stuff away. 
uh, a little more of this salt here. Remember, potatoes like salt, y'all. Potatoes love salt. You got to give them some. Throw some ham in there. No, it really don't matter which layer you put first. Just chunk the shit in there and it'll all be good in the end. Put some onions in there. If you got green onions, you can use them too. I like onions, so I'll put onions in everything. If you don't like onions, don't fucking do it. I don't care. Put some butter in there. How can you go wrong? You got ham and butter and cheese. My lord, how could that be wrong? If you're on a diet, just eat it once a year, not every day like me. What am I forgetting? Got to make another layer, I reckon. Oh, we need cheese. Put some cheese in there. Don't worry about the floor. I'll be a sweep at when she gets done filming. That's this mozzarella in here I got. Dead soldier. You got some slices here. I might as well use them too. Let's see, what the hell is this stuff? Double cheddar. We got white and yellow cheddar. Don't that pretty? Get that paper off of there. I don't want any no damn wax paper. There, we got cheese in there. Put some more potatoes on there. Spread them out, layer everything up. We're going to have a pan full here when we're done. Okay, chuck some ham on there. Remember, y'all don't have to use a ham, it's just something that I like. The rest of the onions. Put the rest of the butter on here. Yeah, I used a whole stick of butter for this. This is probably about eight pounds of potatoes that I sliced. Uh, if you want to do a bigger batch, go ahead. I'm going to rinse my hands here. Pepper. Don't be shy with the pepper, y'all. Use the damn pepper. It tastes good. Got a lot of cheese in here. It's going to have a lot of salt in it. 
You're going to need the pepper. Remember, Keith needs a new Christmas present. He needs a pepper grinder. Uh, got enough salt. You know what I done? forgot? Before every layer, I done fucked this up, man. I forgot my flour. Every layer, we supposed to put flour on here. Abby, come here and film this. We're supposed to put this much flour on every layer. You see that? I didn't do that. So now i got to fix this. I'm supposed to have that much flour on every layer. So we're going to fix this. We're going to stir it up, dump some more flour in there, stir it up, dump some more flour. We're just going to keep doing that. Accidents happen in the kitchen. Sometimes you drink and you forget what you're doing. Sometimes there are pretty girls on the TV, you forget what you're doing. You know, you just deal with it. So, we'll stir this up. And we'll put some more flour in there. You need the flour in there, y'all. Put some flour in there. Lord have mercy, I'm making a mess now. That's the way it should be in this kitchen, though. Jesus Christ. Get a bowl. Abby, quit laughing at me. It don't matter. It's going to be good in the end. Trust me. Just Y'all need the flour in there because the flour mixes with the cream and it makes your uh, it makes your what you call sauce. Put some flour in there. What the hell? We could start all over again, I guess. But I ain't going to do that. How many times have I told you? We're just cooking, y'all. If you mess it up, start all over. You see, we got all kinds of cheese and ham in there, and potatoes and onions. Stuff's all mixed up. I'm making a hell of a mess. We're going to live with this, though. That's all there is to it. Somehow I just got to level it out. Abby, I can't believe I did that. We're going to deal with it. Piss on it. Pour some milk on there. I'm using half and half now. You can use regular milk. You can use 2%. Uh, I don't think I'd use heavy cream on this, but half and half will work. Look down in there, make sure you got moisture in there. You're going to have to have some cream. These potatoes are raw, so they're going to be have to be cooked. You got to have enough cream in there so it don't all dry out on you. So, anyways. I got a quart of cream in there, half and half, put some more cheese in there, you need the flour to add with your cream, that's what's going to thicken this all up. Yeah, I know, it's a lot of cheese. That's why I didn't add a lot of salt. Push that stuff on down in there.
Now, just add a touch of white wine to this. Just a touch. You don't need a lot. Some more pepper. My pepper grinder needs pepper filled into it. <coughs> okay. Wipe that off a little bit. It's ready to go in the oven. I got a 350 degree oven. It's hot. I'm going to shove this in here for about 10 minutes. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put aluminum foil on it and cover it and cook it for another 35 to 40 minutes. I'll uncover it and I'll see where we are. In the oven now for 10 minutes. You see the cream in there? See how much it's come up? That's why you need the flour in there. It's going to thicken that up. But I screwed up so we'll see what happens. In the oven, 10 minutes. Abby, I cannot believe I did that. Okay, y'all. It's been, I don't know, 10 or 12 minutes. Fed this in the oven. You see, I got quite a bit of cream in there. Damn, that's a little warm. Maybe a little more cream than I needed, but we'll see. The reason it looks like that is because I didn't put the damn flour in it like I should have. But, we'll live with that. We'll see what happens. I'm going to wrap this up. Put some foil on this hot ass pan. Shove it back in the oven. An hour later it should be ready to eat. We'll see. If it ain't ready to eat, then we made a mistake and <coughs> we deal with it. We're just cooking, y'all. Just cooking. Sometimes it don't all work out right. Sometimes it does. Just live with it. Oh, hell, let's just we'll be back in an hour. Than I thought. Okay, y'all. We ain't done yet. It's been about 30 minutes. I took the foil off of it. Potatoes ain't done yet. You see I got a lot of cream. You see the butter up on top there. Probably got too much cream in there than what I need. But what the hell. We're going to shove it back in the oven. Wait another 30 minutes to see what happens. It'll be good in the end. One way or the other. We'll be back when it's done. Just that's what it looks like. We got some all grown potatoes here. Look at that. Look at that. We got cream. We got butter. Hey, don't that look greasy and shit? Oh my god. All that fat in there. That comes from the cream and the butter. That's what makes it yummy, y'all. Let me just be up a plate of these potatoes here. And uh, I made some ham earlier. I'm going to put that on a plate. When I get done, I'll show you what it looks like, and then you can decide. Don't this look yummy, though? My God, y'all, look at this. Jesus Christ, that looks good. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all, here we go. We got some all rotten potatoes, and we got some ham here. I don't know. Is this shit done? Who the hell knows? Let's see, that cut up there. Let's try it. What the hell? Okay. Tastes yummy. Probably cooked the potatoes a little bit longer for one or two, but I got too many people yelling at me. They're ready to eat. They're hungry. I messed up. I didn't put my flour in in stages like I should have. Yeah, every 
But like I say, people, just get in there and do something. <clears throat> you screw it up, you live with it. Now, learn from your mistakes. Do it again. Fix your mistakes. Okay. But I will tell you, this ham was yummy. I made this ham earlier, and this was some good yummy ass ham here. You're going to drop a plate. We look at you next time we do a video, Hal. Be cool. Eat. Enjoy. Whatever rocks your boat. See you later next time.